Let's go and welcome back everybody to Doki Doki Fallen Angel. Last episode, uh, we learned that uh, it's spring break. Yesterday was uh, the last day of school and now we have two weeks off, which is just uh, absolutely amazing. Um, how are we spending our time, you may ask? Well, uh, spending every single waking moment with um, Yuri, obviously. She came over yesterday. Well, I, last episode, it's still today. What am I talking about? Though she has been spending nights at her house, like every single night. We're sleeping together. We're on that level, per se. Um, but yeah, we're watching a movie right now. And uh, unfortunately, we've been too focused on Yuri's seductive body that um, we have not been paying attention to the movie at all. And Yuri has, uh, has caught wind of that. So she's now quizzing us on the movie to see if we are watching or not so uh yeah without further ado let's jump into it and uh and hopefully we can uh fight the good fight here and uh come out uh i don't want to say on top because i mean it's it's not like there's really a it's not like i want to be the winner over yuri you know what i mean anyway hopefully we don't lose what we have with yuri hopefully the relationship stays solid let's do it i just realized i'm sitting on top of a plant right now okay and What's the main character's name? Oh, what? The main character. What's his name? Uh, <clears throat> I mean, we've only been watching the movie for about like an hour. I don't think they introduced him yet. All right. I know this. I think Rar. Come on, baby. What's the name? Paul or Thomas, you say? Oh, good lord. Wait. Wait, I think we're actually supposed to know the answer to this, and it may affect what happens in the mod if we choose the wrong one. The movie we're watching is uh, an adaptation to a book that Yuri really likes. I don't think she ever talked to us about that book, though. Hopefully, I'm not misremembering. I really hope we're not supposed to know the answer, because I don't know. <laughs> um... It's 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 speaking to me for some reason. Thomas sounds familiar. Maybe he was the main guy that uh, the main character was in love with in the other book that we were reading in class. Is that why it sounds familiar? Maybe that's a bait. Maybe it is, and she's gonna be like, "Raw, that's the wrong book." <laughs> Thomas, here goes nothing. Thomas. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Yuri giggles at my failure. Oh my god, it actually was Paul. Oh no, 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 dude, no! I could easily rewind because we saved just a minute ago, but we just, we have to accept our mistakes. This is the RAR we are. We can't be a fake RAR. We gotta just, you know, at some point, you know, Yuri's gonna find out that we're not all that's cracked up to be, you know? We might as well just show her that we got our flaws, you know? I like to stare at Big Booba. Oh, good lord. <clears throat> His name is Paul. Paul Sheldon. Uh, yeah, I mean, I knew that. I was just testing to see if you knew. <laughs> Yuri stifles a laugh before returning to the movie. Is now my chance? She's distracted. I should make a move. Now's the time to make a move when you just completely botched the easiest questionnaire of your life, Rar. Would it be weird if I did? Or would it be weirder if I didn't? I mean, we kissed. What's an arm wrap compared to that? Who calls it an arm wrap? Makes me think of like a, a the chicken snack wrap from McDonald's. <laughs> when are they bringing that back? I maneuver my arm ever so slowly, as if it were moving through molasses. I gently place my hand over Yuri's shoulder. She does a double take at my arm and then looks at me. Not a single word was spoken. She simply smiles and leans into me. Her head lays softer on my shoulder. I can't help but feel the corners of my mouth rise as well. We continue to finish the movie in a comforting silence. The credits roll! <clears throat> Yuri moves off my arm, which has now fallen asleep. What did you think? I mean, it was good, as... A uh, well thought out and sp suspenseful story, I would say. I'm glad I picked it. As am I. Uh, either she didn't catch my ploy or she doesn't want to embarrass me. Although, 
I couldn't help but notice all the differences from the book. Oh, like what? After saying that, I instantly regret those lines. Well, to start... Yuri goes off on an incomprehensible tangent about the movie. I would be very interested to know. Come on, Rar, why don't why aren't you interested? You you find Yuri's rambling annoying about her favorite movie? I hope that's not because I chose the wrong guy's name. Hmm. I try following along, but I can't quite understand what she's saying. I'm too busy staring at the way her eyes reflect on the orange sun peeking through the window. Bro, do we even like Yuri's personality? <laughs> we didn't like reading before we met her. We only started reading to impress her. Our eyes are always stuck on her body. Rar! Get it together! Right, Rar? Uh, you... Uh, yeah. Yeah. I completely agree. Why would we have to agree? We haven't even watched... We haven't even read the book ourselves. <laughs> Yuri stares at me if as, as if I'm one of her books. I'm glad you see it that way. Uh... Thank God she didn't pry that question any further. I suppose I should be going home now. If I wait any longer, I'll walk in the dark. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's the safest time, Yuri. Huh? Yuri gives me a confused glance. Because at night... If you get into danger, you can shine a light in the sky and call for Batman. You can't do that during the day. Yuri tries to hold in her laughter, but eventually gives in. <laughs> I'm serious, Raw. I have to go. <laughs> uh, you can't stay the night, though. I don't have a change of clothes. Well, <laughs> but... Scushy. I stop myself before saying... Who said we're gonna need clothes? I understand. Yuri stands up. Thank you for today, Ra. This was a lovely evening. Oh, a little peck on the cheek. Oh, that's so cute. That caught me off guard. I'm gonna be honest. That was very cute. Yuri bends down and places a light kiss on my cheek. Oh, yeah. How tall are we compared to Yuri? She's probably taller than us. That's kind of hot, bro. She quickly turns and leaves as I notice her cheeks turn bright red. I'm left sitting on the couch with a stupidly looking large grin on my face. If you told me a year ago I'd have a relationship like this, I would have filled out your papers to be taken into a mental asylum. Asylum. But now, I've changed. I feel a lot more confident. I can take on anything the world throws at me. I guess we'll just have to see where fate takes us. Why? I just, I, mm. I think I'm very good at picking out, like, um, like, moments in storytelling where they're, like, eavesdropping hints as to where things may go, like, the pace and the direction. Um, <clears throat> I feel like I do it, like, so often to where it can almost ruin the story a little bit for me, but I'm like, yeah, right there, it's like, mm, to me, that sounds like uh, maybe fate's going to be taking us in maybe a direction we don't want to go. To be fair, I mean, there's bumps in the road for everything, right? So, I mean, you know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm kind of a believer in fate. I, I think I've explained this mentality of mine before, but to very long story short it, and I'm long story shorting it so quickly that it maybe it won't even make full sense to you, but like, I like to believe that me being conscious right now in this reality, because I believe in multiple realities, for me to be conscious in this reality right now, I best believe being the best reality. Because I'm the main character. And because of that, if I'm in the best reality, when bad things happen, I'll always find the positives to outweigh the negatives because we got to be in the best reality, baby. And because of that, I feel like fate almost kind of gets stirred in that pot with it as well. It's like, well, you know, that happened, but you know what? That was for a reason because now we're going to be stronger because of it. And it just kind of builds like that. So anyway, that's uh, that that's my uh, maybe semi unique take 
I feel like I talk about it all the time, but that's, yeah, that's, that's truly like the way I live my life. But I, I think that's a, a good way to live though, too. So anyway, I open my eyes as the sun, as the sun casts its light on my face. Ugh. The sunlight creates a soft glow. Usually the mean, usually that means that there are heavy clouds looming over. We'll most likely get some showers later today. I grab my phone and look at the time. Holy crap, I'm gonna be late, dog. I jump out of the bed and start to begin my daily routine. <clears throat> Today is Yuri's second appointment with Dr. Langton. He was excited to continue working with Yuri and believes that he can really help her. I wonder what he'll say when she tells him about her cuts. Yuri promised me she'd open up about him today. I'll do my best to support her. I continue my trek into the kitchen. Pulling out my phone, I check the time. I got a lot of time left. Swipe a cereal bar and swing open my fridge. Luckily, I remember to buy milk this time. I need to eat milk with a cereal bar. I mean, I guess if that's just your beverage of choice, but you know, I'm, I'm very much a water drinker. If I'm eating anything sweet, water complements it the best 99% of the time for me. A cereal bar, I mean, don't get me wrong, milk would probably be pretty decent, but like I still gravitate towards water. Easier, nicer, I don't know, cleaner, crisper, maybe per se. Um, speaking of cereal bars, though, I haven't had one in a while. I don't think I've had one since I graduated university, actually. I should get myself a pack of cereal bars someday, sometime soon. Pour the milk into the bowl and drop the cereal bar inside. Okay, do tell Rar. What is this process? I'm actually a little interested, and now I might even want to try this too. Why isn't it working? All of a sudden, realization hit me. Oh. I fished the soggy cereal bar out of the bowl. One day I'm going to have a proper breakfast. I pull out my phone once again and text Yuri. On my way. To be honest, I'm a little curious now. I'm a little curious about that. The cereal bar in bowl plus milk strategy. It probably would not be that good. Probably should definitely just take a bite of the cereal bar, nom it up a little bit, take a sip of the milk as you still got a lot of, you know, cereal crud in your mouth. That way, like, you know, it gets to mix up pretty well. I, I mean, I think that's just the optimal strategy by far. Almost immediately, Yuri responds, Okay, I'll be waiting. I'm not sure why Yuri feels it's necessary to type so formally, but I suppose it's a bit cute. Finish my sorry excuse for a meal and head out the door towards Yuri's house. I walk up to the door and ring the doorbell. Yuri opens the door. Hello, Ra. Oh, hey, you ready to go? I suppose so. It's okay to be nervous. Just remember, I'll be right next to you the entire time. Thank you. I truly appreciate everything you've done for me, Ra. My face starts to turn red. Eh, don't mention it. But that was, that was like a perfect time to talk about how like, you know, the AC is obviously off because we're outside right now. Where'd that gag go, dog? Yuri locks the door and we begin our walk to Dr. Langton's office. We arrive at the psychiatrist's office. Dr. Langton is standing at the door waiting for us. Ah, oh, right on time. It's a pleasure to meet you two again. Once again, give him a firm handshake. He turns to Yuri. Hesitantly, Yuri shakes his hand. Dr. Langton takes a hold of it. Pleasure to meet you again, miss. Shall we begin? Uh, I want Ra to join! Both Dr. Langton and I share looks of shock as Yuri speaks up. I would feel more comfortable if he was with us. Doctor stares as a stares at us as he ponders for a moment before deciding to speak. Very well. You two may tap take a step inside of my office. Ooh, very nice. You follow him in. You take a seat on the couch. Oh dude, Yuri's all stressed out. Look at her. Wish I could comfort her more. Well, Yuri. Would you like to start by saying anything? Yuri looks over at me and we lock eyes for a few moments. <laughs> <laughs> I grab her hand and lightly squeeze it. Uh, I, I want to show you. 
there's something I, I didn't tell you. Dr. Langton stares quizzically at Yuri, but doesn't open his mouth. She begins to roll up her sleeve. Yuri begins to tell him everything she told me several days ago. About how she used to be. How she used cutting as a getaway from life, and, and about how it developed into an addiction. He talks in between sobs while Dr. Langton sits quietly, intently staring at her with a blank yet stern expression. I sit quietly as well, gripping Yuri's hand tightly as she continues her story. I find myself having to hold back tears listening to all of this again. Eventually she finishes. This is... This is something very serious. G give me a moment. Dr. Langton gets up from his seat and goes to his computer. He begins typing. It sounds like an email. A small piece of paper comes out of his printer. He then comes back to us. Here is a prescription for some antidepressants. They're used to suppress different emotions and relax the body. It will help suppress certain feelings you may get. Here he takes the slip of paper. Thank you. After answering a few more questions, Dr. Langton escorts us out of his office. Thank you for coming today. And also for bringing this up to me. And Yuri. He bends down at the eye level with her. Everything is going to be okay. He shoots her a big smile, but Harry continues to stare at him blankly. May have been too much for her. Dr. Langton walks back into his office. Turn back to Yuri and see her visibly shaking. Look at the clock on the wall. Hey Yuri, uh, why don't we go somewhere to relax? Had a pretty intense day today, wouldn't you say? Uh, okay. Yuri and I take our leave. We find ourselves walking through a public park. We turn to her. This is nice, huh, Yuri? I will say, it is nice to get some fresh air. It feels like the weight of the world has been lifted off my shoulders. Hey, Yuri. I know it'll be good. And what's that? Ah! I take her hand and run off into the trees. Great music, by the way, right now. Putting me in quite a vibe. Got a bit lost, but after a few minutes, we reach a clearing. It's been a long time since I visited this place. Here it is! I wave my arms in a theatrical display. This area brings back a lot of good memories. Siri and I stumbled upon this place when kids. <clears> hmm. <throat> <clears throat> I'm sorry, I just, I'm, I'm now starting to analyze a little bit. I brought this up during, like, episode one and two, I believe, about how the text box is always red, and how I believe the main character's eyes are canonically red. Should really search that up to make sure I'm right. Oh, I'll, I'll do that. Hopefully I remember to do that. Um, but I'm just thinking, because, you know, a lot of, like, kind of... I don't know, actions and motivation... Not necessarily motivations, but our actions, I feel like they're very much like... Um, Kind of through our perspective and almost not considering how others feel sometimes like like you know pushing yuri to therapy and kind of the way we've like i don't know kind of sped up the relationship i mean i know it's it's kind of a two-way street and and not to say that pushing yuri into therapy was bad but i don't know i mean you know this story is clearly told through our perspective because you know we are the narrator here um as most mods are sometimes they aren't but um I don't know. I, I just wonder if the red text box is kind of like, yes, this is our perspective, and like, we are the driver here. And people may get caught up in a crash because of it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just... I don't know. That's that's where that's just what I'm thinking about right now. Hmm. It was our own secret spot where we used to play. One time she fell in the river and I had to jump in and grab her. Parents were really mad that day. Oh, this is breathtaking. No, you're breathtaking. 
Here he stands in the clearing overlooking the water. I stare too, but not at the same view as her. To me, she's far more beautiful than this scenery. But like, you know what I mean? Like, again, the, the more moments I'm just thinking about, I couldn't really clearly remember too many, but like one where we're like, yeah, we're making Yuri throw out the knives. It's like, I don't know. I, I just feel like we have really been the driver in her life, which again, I think is like a good thing because, you know, I think Yuri does need that, that, that type of direction and that push to a decent degree. I don't know. This is a wholesome moment, so I'll stop talking about that now, because what I'm talking about is a little depressing in a sense. <laughs> to me, she's far more beautiful than this scenery. I watch as her violet hair blows in the breeze. Her eyes sparkle like stars, and she stares out into the seemingly infinite landscape. Keeps a, keeps a calm and intent expression on her face. I don't know if it's my mind playing tricks on me, but... Seems as if a ray of sunlight is shining on her. Solely on her. A ray of light traveling thousands of miles just to reflect off her face. Makes it look like as if she's glowing. We both stand in the clearing, lost to time. Taking in our res retrospect respective views. I can only imagine what she's thinking. The sun hangs low in the sky. Eventually, I decide to break the silence. Hey, um, I think we should go back now. It's getting a bit late. Yuri looks at me as if I just pulled her through a portal. Already. He looks disappointed. Eyes are shivering. With the sun falling, the light breeze becomes colder and colder. Oh, I mean, we can come back another time. I promise. Okay. Yuri softly smiles as we turn our backs to the horizon. We walk back to the main pathway in silence. You know, uh, you'd have a picnic here one day. Here he picks up, perks up. Really? Can't help but smile and laugh at the excitement in her voice. It's probably the first time I've seen her sound so genuine. Of course. We'll set up some food, maybe some tea, a book, and... We'll come when it's bright and sunny. I... I like that. I wrap my arms around Yuri. She doesn't even falter. I can feel her tense body relax as if the moments as if all the moments that she led up to this had been wiped away from existence. If only it was as easy as to snap If only it was as easy as a snap to wipe half of everything out of existence. I finally laughed to myself. And for a second I feel like a normal person again. What a weird sentence to end on there. Suddenly, I feel like a normal person? I'm sorry, but I, I feel like we have been very normal for most of this playthrough. I'm not saying that the main character doesn't have suffering of his own, but like, you know. I don't know, what, what, what struggles are we going through? Besides, of course, just helping Yuri out and... Who knows, maybe that's actually taking quite a psychological toll on us, and maybe it's foreshadowing that we should have never helped in the first place. I'm not saying we shouldn't. Maybe that's where the direction's going. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Hmm. Very interesting, though. Like, like, I feel like we've never gotten a feeling that, like, the main character is like, oh, you know, this could be bad. My life is bad. This situation is bad. Every Everything's felt, like, positive. In our eyes, I feel. Odd. Hmm. Well, anyway, we'll keep going for a little bit. Well, we're here. Thank you for walking me home, Raw. No, not a problem. Natsuki said chivalry was dead. I'll, uh... I'll be off then. Are you sure? I mean... Yeah, we're not having this awkward conversation again. You know what? I'd love to spend the night. Really? Yeah, and are you surprised that I want to spend a lot of time with you? No, it, it's just that not a lot of people in, enjoy spending time with me. Yuri, come on, by now you know that we love you! I love you! I wrap my arm around Yuri as we walk inside. Well, Yuri, I'm not a lot of people. 
literally. Shh. We walk in and I take a seat on the couch. Bro, what, what are you doing? What? what? Yuri grabs me and yanks me off the couch. Whoa! <laughs> Little forward, ah, huh, Yuri. Woo! Yowzers. What'd I do? Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. It's just if you haven't showered yet. And you sat on the couch. <laughs> I relate. I actually do relate. I do. I mean, again, this is why, you know, Yuri probably just is my soulmate more than any other character. Because, like, I, I, I feel like we, we really do share a lot of similar thoughts and perspectives on things. Um, ever since about... Ever since about, like, five years ago, four years, probably five years ago, um, when the flu, there was, like, a, a seasonal flu in America. I think it was more strictly to America, but I think it also kind of was strong in other places in the world, too. But where the flu was, like, much stronger and aggressive than, like, any other year we've really seen, and, like, a lot of people were dying from it. And uh, everybody's like, yeah, wash your hands, you know, be careful. Ba basically, like, act like it's coronavirus, you know? It was, it was like, low-key coronavirus you know, except 2015 or whatever the shit. No, probably 2017 or something. Um, obviously not to the extreme, but anyway, it was kind of that type of vibe, right? Um, in terms of, of how people kind of approached it. Nobody wore masks and stuff. Again, much, much more low key, but similar idea. Anyway, ever since then, I've been like much more like cleanliness cautious in terms of like not getting germs on me. I've always been like like a femboy, cute boy, try to stay clean looking. But when it came to like avoiding viruses and germs, I definitely like, I mean, I, 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 was, I was never a dirty boy, don't get me wrong. But like, you know, I was like normal, I guess you would say, I don't know. Um, but ever since that year, like I've, yeah, whenever like I touch like, money a gas station pump or just honestly i'm like not in my own house and i've touched some things like really anything if it's just a couple hours have passed i need to go wash my hands and before i eat food gotta wash my hands no matter what um and when i come home from somewhere i do want to change clothes before i sit down like in my computer chair etc other places in in the home so yeah i uh i fully get it yuri and you know what with that um yeah we'll end the episode here just because uh ooh woo let's see what happens after we hop in the shower at yuri's place that seems a little interesting so we'll save that for next time um sorry if you thought i was gonna play a little bit more i just did a little ramble city and then just cut it on you <laughs> but uh but yeah thank you for watching guys again if you uh enjoy this series enjoy the videos um, definitely remember that every single day a new episode is coming out at 10.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and if you can't remember that or you don't know how to convert time zones because uh, you're a baka then, uh, or you're just too lazy, then uh, yeah, just click the subscribe button like right down there or whatever and turn on the bell notification so you get notified when the new video comes out. But uh, yeah, anyway, that'll be it. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Much love. Take care and have a damn... Good one.